Good morning, everyone. Namaste. It is I, Gina Louisa, here this morning, just helping to raise the vibration of our collective consciousness. <laughs> Today is the 12th, the 12th of February of 2016, right? Sunny, cold day today here in Rhode Island. And it's just a very relaxing energy. I, you know, chilled this morning, just felt like chilling. And I wake, wake up early, I always wake up early, but I just, I just felt like chilling this morning. And I did, I chilled out. And then, I just relax and chill. I'm at the end of my cup of coffee here, almost. And I figured, well, let me let me get to my video this weekend. This weekend's videos. Oh yes, we have a Valentine's Day coming up. So this is our Valentine video, right? Valentine's Day is a day to really get down to me. Yeah, the day's building up to Valentine's Day. We're building up. This the 12th, we got, you know, Friday, today, the 12th, then we got 13th, Saturday, and 14th is Valentine's Day, which is kind of cool, it's on a Sunday, you know, which is like, you know, the being, for those raised Catholic, which, you know, we were raised Catholic, but Sunday's always been like a day of, a uh, day set aside for God and family, it's kind of appropriate that Valentine's Day falls on a Sunday this year. Because the theme of this year is know thyself. Okay, the theme of this whole year is to really know thyself. I mean, dare to face your truth, your shadow. There it is, standing there in front of you. O M G. <laughs> right. And as you are building up to this Valentine's Day, be real. Okay, don't. So, oh my God, I got to get a date for Valentine's Day and you're going to like, you know, call through all these numbers and I don't really know who this person is, but you know, it's Valentine's Day, I need a date. No, 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 not this Valentine's Day. This Valentine's Day, I have decided actually to, I'm not going to even, <laughs> I'm not going to address the Valentine's Day date thing. There's probably one person on this earth that I would set, accept a date from on, on Sunday or the, this weekend at all. Here's, I'm a hopeless romantic, right? I'm doing myself a better service by being true to myself. Say? And by saying, you know, um, I can't accept a dinner with you on this weekend or today, or you, you no, or you, or you. <laughs> I just, because this weekend is about being true to yourself. Really being in that, I'm, it's true love or nothing kind of energy is out there today. And it's nice to meet new people, it really is. It's nice to have casual relationships and just have fun with people, it really is. But that's not what the, this weekend is about. This weekend is about love. Uh, what, was, what was that song? Um, wait a minute. <laughs> Love, right? Lord above. <laughs> now you're trying to trick me in love. All right now, baby, it's all right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a great song. I just love that song, right? <laughs>
love, Lord above. <laughs> but that's what it's about. Okay. Love is a serious and scary emotion. Because love leaves us vulnerable, leaves us open. So we think. Love is scary when we, excuse me, make that love depend on another's reciprocation of that love. And really, that's not what love is about. That's validation. It's, um, it's other things, but when love is something you can't help but feel, okay? That when you don't have to tell yourself that that this is what you're feeling when you you witness it of yourself when you think of this other person and you light up like a christmas tree and it makes you laugh and it makes you smile and it makes you giggly and it makes you dancy and it, and you just just to know that this person exists at all okay you don't have to possess them you just being in witness that that this person exists at all then you get to feel their vibration do you see what I'm saying you get to witness the smile hear the laughter and 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 let it soak into you and this is an experience of of love I mean, this is how we love each other this is how we we get to know one another get to enjoy each other when you love someone they say when you love someone you, you set them free you see what I'm saying Love isn't about possessing someone, you know. I love you, and therefore you you give me him. I have the, I have this leash, and I'm gonna just uh, attach it to you, and I'm gonna hold on to this end, and you ain't going no oh, man. That's not love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You say, oh my God, I just love you. Be free. Be yourself. I love you. I love witnessing you being free. I love to see the things you do and just love the person that you are. And I love when you come this way, you know? I love that you that you focus your attention this way. I love our exchange when we are with each other, when we freely come together as we do. This is what I love. I love our just the fact that the two of us are existing in aliveness at all at the same time. Let me not be content with that. I love that you love the who that I am. See? I love that you allow me my freedom to be myself, to explore the little avenues of myself, to get to know myself. Because if we don't know ourselves, how can we expect to to love someone else, to, to know someone else. You really can't. If you don't know and love who you are, you there's no way you can know and love another. See what I'm saying? If you're looking to somebody else to, to, to bring happiness to you, if you don't have if you're not happy in and of yourself, then nothing is gonna make you happy. You know what I'm saying? You can't look at another person and say, you know, you need to make me happy. It doesn't happen that way. You have to be happy. See? <laughs> You just have to be happy and content with who you are. When you look in the mirror, you know, and I'm not saying look in the mirror as like, oh my God, like, is this right or is that right? And I'm not talking about looking at yourself. I'm saying looking to yourself in the mirror right here. Okay, that's the part that matters. When, when I look in, in to myself in the mirror, see what I'm saying? That I can respect who I am. And I can say, wow, you know. I'm glad to know you. I'm glad, I'm glad to know you. I'm happy to know you. I'm even humbled to know you. See, that's love. See? That I want to do the, I want to do what's right for you. I want to make sure that you eat right. I want to make sure that that you know that you exercise and that 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 you're kept healthy. We treat ourselves with love. That's the ultimate Valentine. 
to say, you know, I promise to love and, and honor and respect and cherish you when we're talking to ourselves. See, I, I promise to love you. I promise to honor you. I, you know, honor your feelings, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. I, I promise to honor you. I promise to cherish you. I promise to care for you. I promise to to never put you in a situation that's going to make you unhappy or sad. I promise to never hurt your feelings. I promise to never disrespect you or disregard you. When we can treat ourselves this way, ah, that's the ultimate Valentine. Say, God, I accept myself. I accept myself as who I am, fresh and new in every moment, and I accept this love in my heart, and I love to fill myself with joy and music and art. So namaste everyone on this lovely Valentine weekend. Let this Valentine weekend be about self love okay treat yourself good what makes you feel good you don't need validation from outside of yourself yes validation from outside yourself feels good it does it feels good but validation from inside yourself feels even better it's only when you are in a place where you know yourself and you're comfortable with yourself and you love yourself, do you even have the tools to create a love relationship with someone else? And you say, you know, I love you because of who you are. I just love watching you. I love listening to you. I love, I love our conversation. You know, I love the who you are. You know, I love how you live your life. You see, I love your point of view. I, it just resonates with me because I resonate at my highest frequency and watching you resonate at your highest frequency. Oh, that's just wonderful. You see, when, when people who resonate on the highest frequency like that will naturally come together. We don't have to, you know, make it, this big stressful awful thing this relationship thing it's just a natural wonderful beautiful thing okay and, and soulmates soulmates this Valentine's Day understand okay you know that you have a soulmate on this earth whether or not you even have ever met or ever witnessed or ever well you know right whether or not you've ever had validation or proof that such a soulmate exists for you we know that it must just the very fact that we exist is proof enough that our soulmate must exist we understand how energy works and how souls evolve that you know that we make this agreement prior to coming into life this particular lifetime we, we say yes we're going to come into lifetime in opposite ends of the earth or in opposite ends of the, the social circles you know one poor one rich or one famous one not famous or, so you know just total opposite ends you know a democrat and republican or, or something you know uh, we manifested into this life saying i can find you no matter what body you're in by your soul our souls are going to come together. That's why we're here in this world to experience the twin flames coming together. And those of us who are twin flames, we have to dare to be ourselves. We have to dare to burn brightly and, and watch as other flames burn. And, and there's lots of beautiful burning lights out there. It doesn't mean that each one of these lights is your twin flame, though. See? You can love someone for who they are. This is, what a wonderful time we're in, too, where we can really love each other. 
I mean, there are so many people. Everyone is worthy of love, right? I love you for who you are. And I love you for who you are. And I love you for who you are. And and you're so you know, filled with love and so honest and so good. And, and, you, and you take good care of yourself. And, you, and you, you say wonderful things to try to help other people. And I just love who you are. But Twin Flame, in love, like Valentine love, is something different. It's going to feel just right. See? It's something that feels just right. And it's something that once the twin flames come together, they burn as one flame. And there's no doubt. We are one flame. See? We will travel to life now burning that one flame together. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Have a wonderful, real, and true experience of Valentine's Day this weekend. Okay, so today's the 12th. It's Friday. Time to really assess. Not be in such a hurry to just put anybody in that spot. See what I'm saying? It's about being honest and true with each other. Let's say you can't hang out with people. Let's say if you if you haven't found your true love yet. And you say, you know what? It's Valentine's Day. I want to take so-and-so to dinner. It's like, so, you know, just as friends, can we go to dinner? That's different. When you say, okay, they add that just as friends thing. No, both of you understand. Well, you're not my twin flame and, and you're not my, and I'm not your twin flame. And, but we can hang out as friends. Open, honest communication. That's cool too. But for me, this Valentine's Day is not about all of the wonderful people that I love in this world as my friends. This Valentine's Day, I'm holding it open for my true love. And it's like, you know, true love or bust, as they say, you know. True love, and I'm being in my true love by being alone myself truly loving myself and staying in that atmosphere of true love that my true love exists in this atmosphere and I exist in this atmosphere and whether or not I'm on this side of the planet and he's on the other side of the planet it doesn't matter you say I trust and know that my true love is in the same vibration that I'm in and he trusts and knows he must because I do he trusts and knows that his twin flame is somewhere on this planet vibrating in the same frequency. And in divine timing, we come together. That is the surrender. As if we have in surrender to that which is divine timing. Surrendering to our complete, true, natural selves, you say. The surrender to the natural. That's why I get up in the morning and I don't primp, you know, and I don't, you know, have a script and I, I just, you know, wing it <laughs> because that's what it is. I want to be in my true natural self. I want you to, the world to witness me as is, you know, no makeup, no script, no in costumed and all of that, you know, no. Oh my God, what did I say? Let me pause this. Let me, let me start it again. Ah, you know what I'm saying? It's trust. And this, today is about trusting and feeling and assessing. And if you are in love with somebody, if you really feel like, I really feel like I'm in love with this person, then you really need to let them know. You need to let them know. You need to be brave and daring and open your heart if you love someone love not desire desire is different you know and I you know like boy in my heart for your body well that's different than love I lust you that's different but love well love will incorporate all the other things too but with love it's like I really feel that I need you beside me. I need your wind in my sail. You see? If you feel that someone is the wind in your sail, you really need to let them know. 
This is a time where twin flames really need to trust each other, be open with each other, and aim for each other, have for each other. Be your best self, and your twin flame will be able to find you. Be your true authentic, oh, authentic. Be your true authentic natural self. And when everybody is being their true authentic natural selves, the flames will just come together. So, all right, I've gone on 20 minutes. So, namaste, everyone. Have a wonderful February 12th. And if I don't see you, have a true, authentic, beautiful, loving Valentine's Day. Make sure that you're happy in here, in yourself, whether or not you're with another person. It's about this. It's about your twin flame being the other part of your own self. So I love you. I love you. I do. And I'll see you in the morning. I think I'll see you in the morning, right? Most likely. Mm.